lot, a yeah. lot. So this province has 32 steel and 12 chromium in it. We, we, that's relevant to our interests. That is quite relevant to our interests. Uh, man, <laughs> these motorized divisions are having a hard time finding a way through these woods. But can we blame them? Okay, Patch, are your guys... Like, if you had gone by boat, is all I'm saying, is this would have been... You could have... You could have been there already. I mean, I'm sure you're having a nice hike through the mountains, but... All right. So, our front is huge. Kind of how I want it for now. Did we take Ulan Batar yet? Do we have the troops to take Ulan Batar? Can I just send one of these motorized divisions in and take Ulan Batar? But don't go through. Well, okay. You can go that way if you want. That wouldn't be the way I would choose, but yeah, you're going to need to send more troops to that front, I think, to drive drive any further. Oh, cool. We got a nice little salient here we can exploit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was over before it started. Alright. Patch, you ready? You good to go? Almost? Alright. Just waiting for... Just, uh... He's just taking his time here. He's just gonna... Just gonna go ahead and, uh, just gonna, just gonna go ahead and, uh, just gonna go ahead. Alright. Patch is ready to go. We're gonna do some redrawing of front lines. So, the United States Marine Corps is now gonna be responsible for everything from here to here. Um, we'll allow the overlap to continue to exist just until we get, uh, get the Marines up here. And I want them to capture along the coast. Don't worry about the mountains. Um, let's see if there's any resources we need to capture up here. Nothing of value whatsoever. Alright, so we really just need... We want the river at our flank. And we want the mountains at our flank. And we want to capture the coastline up to and including Kamchatka. And yeah, that'll work for now, and then we'll we'll clean it up and capture the rest of the coast, so Alaska is no longer threatened. That I think sounds intelligent. Once and once strategic we know redeployment, that, good. They're strategically <laughs> redeploying. Once we know they can't hit us on our home front, we can basically prosecute the war for. Where are we still suffering? Okay, basically in the mountains up here, we're still suffering supply problems. It might actually be worthing to wor worthing. It might actually be Sam Worthington uh, to divert some of our resources into building up some transport infrastructure in Russia. Uh, we can research the patent now. My one. My one hesitation regarding that is that we already are churning out T-20s at high efficiency, and I don't think this is going to make a lot of difference. We're fighting T-34s, and we're already just obliterating them. We'd probably do better to, like, go down the rocket artillery track or something. Probably. Round out our round out what we got. <laughs> well, let's see. What, what ships do we still need? We got our Montana-class battleships. Let's go ahead and get the Allen M. Sumner destroyers. And the more U-boats we can knock out of the war, the better. Got the good old USMC on the march. Oh, yeah, I was going to look about. Let's do um, some infrastructure. We're already developing Korea, which is good. So, if we can just get supplies up here, that should be sufficient. I'm going to give that a high priority, because these will finish fast. 
as long as we're still building factories and reactors. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Keep us from losing so many guys to attrition. Interestingly enough, in this timeline, <laughs> Manchuria and uh, this area of the Soviet Union are going to have highly developed transport infrastructure because they were invaded by the U.S. I mean, I like that. It's yeah. like, y you know, when we overthrow your awful government and yep. your historically brutal dictator, we're going to leave you better than we found them. And we'll continue to spam infrastructure as we advance westward. Because we are going to need it, and it will definitely help us reinforce with, like, our, our mechanized divisions and stuff. On the home front, um, <clears throat> Mark Clark's training division has a bunch more guys ready to go. Marines, good. We got raw infantry, which is, we need a lot more of that just to help Eisenhower hold the line. Can you recruit more troops in captured lands? As a democracy, forcing a conquered people to fight well, for you is a little questionable. Here's So here's how it works. Um, whenever you occupy a territory, you choose your occupation policy. Um, gentle will make it so that there's less resistance to occupation, um, but you get very little resources, very little manpower, and very little ac access to their industrial output. And then as you increase the brutality of your regime, um, actually man manpower is, is the inverse. So a harsh occupation will get you no manpower, whereas gentle, you do have about 30% of the population that's willing to enlist and help you out. Um, but a brutal regime uh, will give you more access to their factories and their local resources. So right now we do have some democratic friendly Japanese people who are who are uh, enlisting to uh, help us out. Uh, all right, so the Marines are on this front, so I'm going to go ahead and tell Patton not to worry about this part of the front anymore. So I'm going to hold down all, make sure, okay, it's the pink line. And I'm just going to tell him, redistribute your troops. And I should give him another order to attack as well. There really aren't any more resources we need to capture over in this area. So, what I want Patton to do, again, we want to put a river at our flank. We want to take this victory point. And close off this here. And we'll go ahead and execute that plan. And hopefully that'll gain us some more con land control uh, that will aid us in terms of not taking so much attrition. I should have brought... I should actually make another army that's just mountaineers. Especially if we're going to be crossing the Urals. It might be good to have... Just like I've had this elite marine army that it has been so useful. If I had another one that was just like all mountaineer focused, that would also be extremely useful. Like, we're not being as tactically efficient as we could. It's not really mattering right now because we're... Fighting yes, a beat you to shit Soviet army. You can army. rename armies, can't you? Yes, you can. You can. You can rename armies, and I believe you can rename individual divisions, too. We're just not gonna, because we have a lot of them. Yeah. Um, I'll pr I might rename, like, some of our... So this is gonna be, uh... This is gonna be Patton's mechanized army. Again, I'm not doing, like, accurate... The fall of Kiev. Kiev has fallen again. The Germans took it at one point earlier in the war, uh, but then the Soviets took it back. It looks like they have handily taken it this time, though. They control a good buffer zone around it, and they're... I believe... No, those are Soviet bombers, I think. 
Yeah. How are the UK doing down there? Looks like they're holding. They're they're still holding, but they have not established a path back to the sea. So their troops in this pocket are going to be taking constant attrition. Hopefully they have logistics companies with them to minimize that. Uh, patches, guys. Okay, good. They're on the attack. Against the Russian or the Soviet mountain divisions. And God, that is a massive country. <laughs> it is. I wonder if uh, we can start. We should probably start shipping some more of uh, MacArthur's guys over to Eisen over Eisenhower's way. Um, and we are getting to the point that we're, we'll want to be thinking about possibly. Oh, hey, expeditionary force from France, raising our conscription law a little bit. Oh yeah, they're, we're going to start getting. There's a there's a bug where they're going to be kind of spamming us with join war requests for a war we're already in. Um, it's just mildly annoying. Um, I'm sure that'll be fixed soon. Yep. Uh, so... In terms of MacArthur... I do want to leave him some troops, but we probably want most of these guys. We don't really need more Marines, so I'm going to leave him most of the Marines. I'm also going to leave him at least two mountain divisions. I'll leave him these two. But these motorized, definitely all of our armor needs to go over. We didn't start building armor till pretty late in the game, so we're kind of behind on the number of armor divisions we can field. Um, just because we waited for better tanks. I'll leave him a couple units of normal infantry too. Just as a... Since he's going to have to defend the east coast in the unlikely event that it gets invaded. Alright, so these guys are going to go to Eisenhower. And I'm going to send them to Los Angeles to ship out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put them, <laughs> just for logistical purposes, I'm going to put them under a different general, ship them out, and then give them to Eisenhower. Because <laughs> we had such a hard time last time getting that to work correctly um, so yeah all right so yeah we're slowly but surely making progress here um, slowly but surely making progress that is the best you can hope for in war with the Soviets exactly if you get involved in a land war in Asia you're gonna have a bad time we think about what our soldiers are actually going through right now like we're winning uh but, but it's this a, is a it's hell. Sh this is a shitty time this, oh, it's this hell. is a shitty time it's hell to write home about yeah like it is hell to write home about exactly um and uh yeah if you think about like all the if we were gonna write like an aar chronicle about this like the political sh shit that's going on right now in like japan and korea and even especially manchuria would be very Interesting. Extremely. Yeah. We did take Ulaanbaatar. Let's see how close Mongolia is to capitulating. Uh, Soviet-Turkish War. And another another chronicle is something that I would be willing to discuss after the bar exam. Yeah, we, we, we were thinking about doing a Hearts of Iron chronicle right when the game came out. And it's like, shit, you know, we have a lot to do right now. <laughs> I can't freaking keep up. I'm writing two books. Yeah. I'm studying for the bar exam. I've got deadlines. I've yeah. Got, yeah. Unfortunately, some streams, some Let's Plays, which are in oh, the works. we're building nuclear bombs. There you go. We have six reactors, um, so we can build a bomb roughly every 60 days, um, which is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of nuclear freaking bombs. Um, yeah, Mongolia. Let's just go ahead and spam infrastructure all through our controlled areas. And we can research a new tech. All that to be said, though, um, Galactic Chronicles is still a thing and will remain a thing. You want to go for jet fighters? Why not? 
We got six research slots, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, why not? There's <laughs> why no, the hell not? Yeah, there's no reason to say no to stuff. So now that we have, actually, now that we have nukes, well, and now our rubber shortage is pretty much solved. So <laughs> we can actually keep our trade laws right where they are. I'm sure, sure, uh, if Sir JMO is watching, he'll be upset about that. He's I think been... he said yesterday that he was going to be on the Paradox stream today. Oh, yeah. If I remember correctly. I'm sure there will be people switching switching back and forth between the two, though. I would be watching the Paradox stream if I wasn't doing this. So. The thing well, with Paradox stream is I think that... I'm not sure what they're doing, this, but I after don't... After this stream, you, I'll have to go do some yeah. of my day job <laughs> work. Um, yeah. But... There'll be like four or five out. We're going to try to record a Let's Play tonight. But yeah, um, we're actually thinking about... Um, we both are, are kind of like horror, first-person horror game fans, so we're thinking for our first Let's Play, um, we're probably going to do Soma, and then we yeah. might end up doing the Amnesia games, too. We're going to uh, do it legit, too. Soma was my game of the year last year. Uh, I think it's just a brilliantly written game. Um, so we won't, we won't be streaming it, but it's going to be more of a Let's Play style. It'll be on our YouTube channel. Yes, it will. And we're going to be trying to do a lot more of those. Oh, yeah. Because um, there's really no reason we shouldn't be, is, is what we realized. So. We play we play so many games <laughs> at night when yeah. the when the work ends. Might as well start recording it, right? Right, yeah. Aw. The, what's that? Sebastian Mueller, I love watching you guys, no homo. Oh, well, thank you. We love that you we, watch us. We we love everyone who loves us, regardless of the level of homo involved. Indeed. So, yeah. We we appreciate we appreciate you guys tremendously. Yeah. So no, we it's I I I say it on Twitter all the time. There's no way we would be doing this without the support that we get from like people that just it's it's really a good rule of thumb in general. If somebody is creating something that you like, take the time to like reach out to them and let them know that because it's it's really the fuel that we run on. I can I can promise you this. Uh, you yeah. got you guys will never go unnoticed by us. Yep. Um, we do that. We do this for the people who enjoy watching us do this, and our growth in the last couple of months, I, I think, is just a reflection of Canada that and Mexico are sending us some expeditionary forces. Word. Still got naval. Con our carrier group is still crushing it in the Sea of Japan. Uh, what ports? Very low supplies. Our marines are in. Just very keep low the videos supplies. up. We're working on it, man. Yeah. As we said, this these uh, these streams will be going up on YouTube after we do them live, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of let's plays coming, a lot of let's plays. Oh yeah, and our finding ways to get the girls involved because they're a riot. Oh yeah, we'll need to figure out like how we want to brand those because it's it's semi irrational, but I really hate the term let's play for some reason. Oh, we're not gonna use it. <laughs> I don't know yeah. why. Maybe it's just because it's so overused. But I really hate I haven't the term been able let's to. Play. I haven't been able to turn my brain towards branding and marketing on yeah. account of all the lost stuff going on. But right. Maybe before we start recording tonight, that's a twenty minute conversation we want to have. Yeah. Because I'm with you. I I. What's next after this campaign? Um, our next Hearts of Iron game we actually have not talked about yet. Uh, We're going to do something with co-op. We want to do co-op. We discussed either doing, like, um, bo like something where, like, one of us is, like, the supreme commander and the other pl one plays the president and we play the same country, maybe Japan or something. We've also discussed maybe doing, like, a Japan and China co-op game with the greater East Asian co-prosperity sphere thing. Um... That you can you can create using the national nothing posters. nailed down though. So if you guys got something you want to see, let us know and we'll definitely take it under advisement. We're flexible. All right, we're officially bogged down. We're well, I was gonna say we are finally officially losing a battle, but then uh, that changed. Okay. Iraq joins the allies. Iraq has joined the allies. Thanks, Iraq. So the Soviet Iraqi war is probably gonna merge with the Soviet Turkish war um, at this point, or it should. Theoretically. Welcome to the party. Yeah. Iraq. Solid as a rock. No, I don't want to exercise these troops. I might want to exercise some troops on the home front, though. Let's see. So, MacArthur's guys are all regulars. The Alaskan 
Command is all regulars. Iran has now joined the Allies. So all of the targets of Soviet aggression are now in the Allies. Mark Clark's... Okay, he's the training division, so his guys are in the process of becoming regulars. But there are some more Motivarius divisions that we can now uh, send over MacArthur's way. Um, and then the West Coast Defense Army is also all regulars. So 